Fairy tales are more than true, not because they tell us that dragons exist, but because they tell us that dragons can be beaten. Neil Gaiman, Coraline Neil Gaiman's quote emphasizes the ability of fairy tales to inspire and encourage us to overcome challenges in our lives. These stories use dragons as a symbol for the obstacles we face, such as fear, doubt, and adversity. Through the trials and triumphs of fairy tale characters, we learn that we too can conquer our own dragons. The message of the quote is not that dragons are real, but that the challenges we encounter in life can be just as daunting. However, like the heroes and heroines in fairy tales, we can find the strength and courage within ourselves to overcome these challenges. Fairy tales also impart valuable lessons and values, such as perseverance, kindness, and empathy, which can help us navigate our own lives. They offer hope, inspiration, and a sense of purpose as we strive towards our own happy endings. Ultimately, fairy tales are not merely stories for entertainment, but powerful tools for personal growth and transformation. They demonstrate that even the most insurmountable obstacles can be overcome with perseverance, courage, and a little bit of magic. Fairy tales provide important life lessons and values, such as kindness, empathy, and perseverance, that can aid us in navigating our own lives. These tales offer a source of hope, inspiration, and direction as we aim for our own happy endings. Fairy tales are not just for amusement but are also influential tools for personal development and transformation. They highlight that we can conquer even the most challenging obstacles with determination, bravery, and a sprinkle of magic. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is a gift of God, which is why we call it the present. Bill King. The expression yesterday is history conveys the idea that what happened in the past is something we can't modify or alter. Therefore, it's better not to focus too much on past events, as doing so can interfere with our ability to live in the present and enjoy the moment. Nonetheless, the past can serve as a source of wisdom and insight that can guide us towards a better future. We can reflect on our past experiences, learn from our mistakes, and use what we've learned to make better decisions in the present and future. By acknowledging and accepting our past, we can move forward with a clearer sense of direction and purpose. The phrase tomorrow is a mystery emphasizes that the future is uncertain and unknown. We may make plans and set goals for the future, but we cannot control what happens next. This uncertainty can lead to anxiety and stress, which can distract us from the present moment. While it is important to plan and prepare for the future, we should not let the fear of the unknown overshadow the present moment. Instead, we should focus on taking action towards our goals and making the most of each day. The expression today is a gift of God, which is why we call it the present underscores the importance of living in the moment and valuing the time we have. The present is a precious and fleeting thing that should be treasured and appreciated. Every day is a new opportunity, and we should make the most of it by being fully present and engaged in the moment. We should cultivate a sense of gratitude for the time we have been given, recognizing that life is a precious gift that we should not take for granted. By focusing on the present, we can derive meaning and purpose from our lives, finding joy in even the simplest of moments. In essence, this quote encourages us to let go of the past, embrace the uncertainty of the future, and focus on living in the present moment. By doing so, we can find greater joy, peace, and fulfillment in our lives. We can appreciate the beauty and wonder of the world around us and live each day to the fullest. This quote is a reminder that life is a precious gift and we should make the most of it while we can. I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Thomas A. Edison. This quote is commonly associated with Thomas Edison, the inventor of the light bulb. It emphasizes the significance of resilience and perseverance when striving for success. Edison's quote illustrates his approach towards failure, which involved regarding it as an inevitable and critical aspect of the invention process. In the quote, Edison is indicating that his failures are not truly failures, but instead are instances of discovering methods that do not work. This perspective towards failure is referred to as a growth mindset, which involves viewing failures as chances to learn and develop, instead of as obstacles or reasons to abandon efforts. 
Edison's approach to failure was a key factor in his success. Instead of becoming discouraged by his failures, he continued to experiment and try new approaches until he found the solution he was looking for. His persistence and determination eventually led him to invent the light bulb, which revolutionized the world. The quote emphasizes the significance of perseverance and resilience as essential traits for attaining success. It suggests that despite encountering failures and obstacles, we must be determined to keep working towards our goals. By displaying persistence and resilience, we can overcome difficulties and ultimately achieve success. To sum up, Edison's quote encourages us to view failure as a natural and necessary part of the path to success. Instead of fearing failure, we should embrace it as an opportunity to learn and grow, fostering a growth mindset that can help us persevere through challenges and setbacks. By doing so, we can cultivate the resilience and determination needed to achieve our goals and realize our full potential. The opposite of love is not hate, it's indifference. The opposite of art is not ugliness, it's indifference. The opposite of faith is not heresy, it's indifference. And the opposite of life is not death, it's indifference. Elie Wiesel This quote by Elie Wiesel highlights the idea that indifference is one of the most dangerous and destructive forces in the world. He suggests that indifference, rather than hate, ugliness, heresy, or death, is the true opposite of love, art, faith, and life. The opposite of love is often assumed to be hate, but Wiesel suggests that indifference is a more accurate opposite. When we hate something, we are still invested in it emotionally, albeit in a negative way. Indifference, on the other hand, suggests a complete lack of caring or investment, which can be even more damaging than hatred. Finally, the opposite of life is often assumed to be death, but Wiesel suggests that indifference is a more accurate opposite. Indifference can prevent us from fully living our lives, as we fail to engage with the world and the people around us. In essence, Wiesel's quote highlights the danger of indifference in all aspects of life. Indifference can prevent us from fully engaging with the world, from appreciating beauty and meaning, from standing up for what is right, and from living our lives to the fullest. By recognizing the danger of indifference and actively working against it, we can help create a better and more just world. I am enough of an artist to draw freely upon my imagination. Imagination is more important than knowledge. Knowledge is limited. Imagination encircles the world. Albert Einstein. This quote is widely attributed to the renowned physicist, Albert Einstein. It emphasizes the significance of imagination in contrast to knowledge, suggesting that imagination has no boundaries, while knowledge is finite. Einstein's quote indicates his recognition of the power of creativity and imagination, which he believed were essential for generating novel ideas and solutions. He believed that imagination was a crucial component of the creative process, enabling artists, thinkers, and innovators to explore new possibilities that could not be envisioned by relying solely on existing knowledge. In contrast, knowledge is limited by what we already know and what has already been discovered or invented. While knowledge is undoubtedly important, it is limited by the boundaries of what we currently understand about the world. In conclusion, Einstein's quote reminds us of the importance of imagination and creativity in all aspects of life and of the limitless potential that exists within our own minds. By drawing upon our imaginations and embracing the power of creativity, we can push beyond the boundaries of what is currently known or understood and make new discoveries and innovations that can change the world. We hope you enjoyed this journey into the world of quotes. Remember, quotes are not just words on a page. They are powerful tools that can shape our thoughts and actions. Use them wisely. In the meantime, be sure to subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends.